call this meeting to order at three o'clock p.m. on May 18th, 2022. Present are Commissioners Eileen Fitzgerald, Catherine Ferner, and Richard Bucci. Also present is Jamie Allen, Sharon Sorkin, and a member of the school district. Uh, first order of business is to approve the minutes from the March 23rd, 2022 meeting. There you go. What happened? I think it was, did you mean April? Yes, April. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I approve. Mrs. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll abstain because I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, new order of business, which requires new vote, is welcome to new commissioner member, uh, to new commission member uh, Richard A. Bucci. Um, next up order of business is the second provisional appointment adequate reasoning determination of a clerk presented by Don Adams and Kelsey Dennison of the Binghamton City School District. Okay, you'll have to forgive me. I'm getting over the flu. Um, and Don was unable to make it. So um, I wish I had a better story for this, but simply um, we have a clerk. Um, we uh, hired her provisionally in March and um, I forgot to tell her to sign up for the civil service um, exam. Um, we were also um, in the middle of quite a hubbub of hiring. Um, so I was delayed in getting the appointment letter over to uh, city civil service. Um, so Jamie was unaware that we've even hired this person for the job. So it was 100% my fault that this person didn't sign up for the civil service um, exam that had come up recently. Um, so that's why we're hoping we can give her a second chance. I'm okay with second chance. So, so what, specifically are, what, what specifically are you asking? Are you asking that she get a chance to take the next test? Yes, when it comes up again. The motion would be for the, for the commissioners to approve that there was adequate reasoning that she failed to appear for the test based off of a lack of... How did she not know about it, though? Because when you take a test that civil service, you have to take an exam. Did she, was she just wasn't aware that there was an exam? Correct. And typically um, when the exams come up, Jamie will let me know. Um, and then I'll let all of our people know individually what they need to do in order to sign up for the exam. But because okay. I didn't let Jamie know that we had hired this person. I didn't have an appointment letter to send her. I was delayed on that. Jamie didn't know either. So it was a hundred percent on my shoulders. Okay. Has uh, another test been scheduled? Do we know? Yeah. Not yet. But the, the, the school district has a call for it, right? Is that how it works? Or uh, we call for it once we have it, like the provisionals. As we had a test, so you're not going to. Yeah, we just. Had so you're not going to really call one too quickly. Yeah. Um, that's right. I mean, can, she can be appointed provisionally, right? On, on the, yes. On the promise that she's going to take a test. Correct. This would result in a second provisional appointment. Okay. Right. Uh, I don't have any problem with it, I guess. I, I don't have a problem, just as long as she takes the test. She does actually take the test, yes. She yeah. will 100% be taking that next test. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, then I'll make a motion. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Kelsey. Awesome, thank you so much. You're welcome. Feel better. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, now we'll take uh, nominations for chair of the Civil Service Commission. Uh, we do that by uh, going one by one. I'll call out each commissioner's name and you'll give me the name of your nominee. First, Commissioner Ferner. Um, Mr. Bucci. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Fitzgerald. Mr. Bucci. And Commissioner Bucci. I guess, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> just, say I, just say I accept. I'm not going to fight the fight. <laughs> um, so therefore, I'll take a motion to approve Commissioner Bucci as the chair of the Civil Service Commission. I'll second it. Third. All in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, 
next up on our agenda and corporation council is stuck in court so i'll go through it very briefly and i can send uh i can send out any supp supplemental information if you need it new york state uh, made an amendment to open meetings law in which they put an end date on remote meetings. Uh, right now it's extended through June 14th, 2022. If the state of emergency is extended again, it will be extended through the state of emergency. Absent that, however, in, meetings are required to be held in person with members of the boards to appear in person. The city council can adopt a local law or resolution that will allow the boards to proceed remotely, but only under extraordinary circumstances. Those circumstances include disability, illness, caregiving responsibilities, and things of that nature with application made by the member of the public body to the, uh, to the public body for approval. Um, as a result, uh, the next civil, I should say the next civil service commission meeting right now is scheduled for June 15th. If members of this board are not able to meet in person June 15th, I would recommend rescheduling that to buy us an additional month um, for logistics. Anybody have any questions? I don't mind coming in. I just have to walk across the street. So I don't have a problem. With that. I'm just, I can come in during the summer months, but I'm away in the winter. When do you go away? Oh, actually, we could have this discussion offline if you'd like, Eileen. Yeah. Okay. Um, and are you going to be available in person for our next scheduled meeting on June 15th? Yes. Okay. Therefore, okay. the members of this body will meet in person June 15th. And if there's any update to the open meetings law, I uh, will make sure that either I or Corporation Council makes you aware. Okay. Okay. Uh, our next meeting will be held June 15th at 3 p.m. in person, and I can take a motion to adjourn. On the fourth floor? On the fourth floor, Office of Personnel and Safety in our big conference. Okay. Okay. Yep. Motion to adjourn. I'll okay. second. Yep. And we are adjourned at 3.08 p.m. Phew. So about the winner. Hold on one moment. Let me turn off our recording.